Okay guys, seriously, what I'm showing you here on camera, it doesn't do this any justice at all. The amount of wood that's here, it's just beyond the scope of what I can capture with the camera. So um, today the cleanup crew finally came out here. It's been, I don't know, two, maybe three weeks top since the crew that was out here that was cutting everything down was here. At this point, it's been about 10 days, eight to 10 days roughly, that uh, somebody was out here and they came out here. I walked around for like an hour with this guy, showing him what was going on. And then the whole point of him coming out here was just for me to sign paperwork so that the next crew could come in here and start doing the work. Okay, fine. So he came, he did his thing. Then the very next morning, I get the guy that's supposed to be running the crew out here and same thing. I'm like walking around this place for an hour with the guy roughly and at the same point in time that's when Poppy's tractor got picked up and it just got chaotic and, and it got a little stressful there walking around with this place with that guy and all this other stuff happening and then um so I give him the tour says he'll be back in an hour and then uh it's been like eight days I haven't seen the guy today I get a call from somebody hey we want to come out and and look at everything and start cleaning the cleaning everything up all right so they come out here and um First, one of the first things out of their mouth, uh, they're talking about a grapple machine, this big truck that picks stuff up, puts it in a truck, and and takes it off to get shredded, chipped, whatever. And first thing out of my mouth was like, oh, um, what's going on with the wood chips? You want wood chips? Yes, I've talked about this like with three other people. <laughs> so the guys, two guys show up. I start doing a little walk around with these two guys and then we get down here to this point and next thing I know there's two other guys that start walking down the driveway and they kind of take over the conversation a little bit talking about picking up everything with the grappler truck getting it shredded and then so I'm like okay so are you just the truck driver what you know who are you I don't I don't know the the hierarchy here of who these four guys are that are talking to me and he's like I'm the boss hands me a card and um all right, okay, so I think they could tell I was kind of frustrated about everything. So whatever happened to that first guy that was supposed to be out here running the crew? I have no idea. Some of my language wasn't exactly PG, but you know, I kept my cool, um, but they knew I was frustrated about everything. So anyway, this guy, I, I think he's a professional of dealing with people that are upset because he, he had all the right things to say. He kept a real calm demeanor. He cooled my, you know, he kept me calm and and uh, expressed everything that I wanted to hear. <laughs> so, and he said that for sure that he was the last guy that I would be talking to. I'm gonna keep, keep, keep getting uh, the buck passed on to the next person or whatever. It's like, this is the guy to call. He's my contact and it's gonna stay that way. The cl cleanup crew is out here and what they're gonna start doing here is they've, all, I, I went to karate today, came back and they were already out here in full swing. So they kind of showed up, I don't know, maybe one, two-ish in the afternoon and um, I, they were only out here for two, three hours tops. And, and I mean, they've, they've done a lot of work already, just a lot of work. I think there was like five guys out here. They had two guys on these machines. Then they had a guy with a chainsaw. And then they had two other guys on computers. And I don't know what they were doing. But there were five guys out here. There was stuff going on next door on the other side of the fence. I mean, it was like, it was like an anthill out here. I mean, there were bodies everywhere. And um, so anyway, at this point, what we're looking at is they are going to take these piles, they're kind of going to go through these piles somewhat, and uh, all the lumber that is six inches or above, basically, they're going to put it in a pile, and I can do whatever I want to with it from there. It's going to be either lumber, firewood, whatever. That's, that's, my, that's my bag. Um, but like this pile over here, they've got one guy that's kind of basically coming in, grabbing the stuff, putting it in a pile, and then they've got another guy that's kind of separating it out, I guess, for the most part, and then somebody's cleaning it up, and then the, the one of the two guys then picks it up, brings it over, drops it in a pile. So, I mean, it is like things are moving everywhere out here. So, the, so basically, the plan from here is they're going to pick up everything. They're not going to chip anything out here on the property because they've had some issues with their machines on the road, kind of uh, excavators kind of digging into the pavement on the road itself. So they, somebody was complaining about that. And uh, so they've decided not to bring those machines out here on the road. What they're gonna do is they're gonna pick this brush pile up, the stuff that is considered brush, 
and they're gonna put it in this big old truck that's got a, a arm, more or less it's got a grappler like what's on these, but just way bigger, attached to like a, a crane, and then it's also attached to a truck. So I mean, it's this one unit is pretty impressive. But so this truck comes out, picks up this stuff, and then it's, they're gonna take it to their to their headquarters or something like that, and they're gonna chip it there because they've apparently there they've got this massive, massive chipper, and it cuts everything up really fine. So, um, so I knew I expressed that I wanted wood chips. Everything out here is a resource. Um, it's either firewood, lumber, or wood chips for the garden. I, I can put all this stuff to use. So what they're gonna do is pick the stuff up, shred it. Well, first off, what they're gonna do is they're gonna clean this up, okay? Then from there, they're gonna take the stuff that needs to be chipped, take it to their headquarters, get it chipped. And then once this place is cleared up, then he said he would bring out a truckload of wood chips. And he's like, how much wood chips do you want? And I was like, keep them coming. I'll take whatever you can give me. And he was like, hold your horses there. I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, so I got the impression that like one truckload is just gonna be like probably more than the average person can handle. So from here, they're gonna just clean everything up, get it so that there's a clean chalkboard, wipe the slate clean so we can see what we have to work with out here, what the lay of the land looks like. And um, then from there, he said he'll bring out, he'll bring out whatever I want for wood chips. Um, but he said, he wants to get a truckload out here so we can see what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. Um, so it sounds like it's gonna be a lot. I mean, it sounds like it's gonna be a massive amount of wood chips I, I'm gonna have access to, but that's yet to come. That'll probably be a couple of days at least. I, I would imagine these guys are gonna be out here for three, four, maybe five days. I don't know, doing what they're doing. There's a lot, there's a lot to do out here. Next phase has begun. These guys are cleaning things up, and I mean, just a little bit of time that they've been here today, I've already noticed a, a humongous difference. So I'm looking forward to this all getting cleaned up. So anyway, next couple of days, they're gonna be going full steam out here, getting this place looking nice, and I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Thanks for checking in on me. See you soon.